Okay, my friends. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Let's start this class singing. Okay. So open your microphones, please. Let's sing, okay? Yesterday, was in the garage. Was in the garage. in the garage. Yesterday, the garage. the garage. I go to see a I was looking at the stars. I was looking at the The last class we talk about what's the mother, no? Do you remember? What's the mother? What's the mother? What's the mother? I am fine, no? Or I am cold, or I am sick, and they say why. Sure. Yes, Adrián. Eh, me demoré enviando las tareas que tenía unas cosas que hacer con mi familia, y este le envié por mensajería. Yeah, it's okay. I'm going to check. Okay. Okay, my friends, pay attention. Watch this video now, and then you tell me where were the people, where were they, and what's the mother, okay? What happened with the liar? Okay, watch, please, okay? What's the mother? What's the problem, no? Um, okay, Dad, he's coming to the car. You're going to have to... She... Yikes. Did you video him? Yeah, but it's not a very good one. Yikes. Oh, big cow, Cindy. Questions for you, my friends. Where were the people? Tell me, Maria Paz, where were they? They were in the car, into the car. Yeah, into the car, but they... in what place? In the zoo? Is that a zoo? Mm, I don't know. It's not a zoo, no? It's not a zoo. It's not a zoo. Yeah, thank you. Adrian, where were the people? It it's uh, it's fear for the legend open the door oh yeah that's what happened no thank you Adrian. rodrigo where were the people the question where were you yesterday i was at home i was at the library i was at the park rodrigo the question is where were the people the lion opened the door the car of the car yeah thank you that is the second question now what happened with the lion what's the mother with the lion gonzalo where were the people uh, the people were in the savannah in the savannah yeah that's true they were in the savannah maybe in africa no maybe one country one of these countries no uganda or south africa or something like that 
Okay, yes, they were on a safari. Okay, and what happened as Adrian says, as the lion opened the door of the car. Door. And the girl says, no, I didn't know that the lions can open doors. That's very interesting. Okay, my friends, today we are going to talk about safari. We are going to learn about safari. My first and last safari. But the teacher is not going to evaluate that. I am going to evaluate the reader that you identify information in text. Okay, it's similar, it's the same, okay? Inicio, you know what it is, no? C. Proceso, you know what it is, it's a B. Logro, you know what is this, no? A and AD, no? It's similar that, you know, we are going to work in the activities from our reader in the platform, no? The seven. And in the next class on Wednesday, we are going to finish with tissues, that chapter eight. And when you complete your activities, remember, this is very important, the percentage. From 70 to, 100, to 99 is okay. 100% is excellent. No, but be careful when you complete your activities, okay? Be careful. For that, you need to read, you need to identify the vocabulary, the grammar, the past progressive, no, all these expressions. Okay, remember that. But first, let's work in our books, okay, in our uh, student books. Okay, so let's go, please, to Teacher. the vocabulary. Yes, Eduardo? Teacher, I can will turn on my camera signs and cannot because I have internal problems. Yes, I read your, your message in the chat. Don't worry, Eduardo, it's okay. Close your camera. Okay, if you had problems, close your camera. Teacher, ese mensaje yo le envié, soy Gonzalo. Yeah, also Eduardo says in the chat. Okay, okay, my friends. This is our vocabulary, please. Let's go to your read, uh, to, to your young stars, please. Open your young stars, page 40. Four, four, 40. Okay, let's go to the page 40. Let's start with the vocabulary. Let's talk about safari, okay? Please open your microphones and repeat. Safari. 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 Way. 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 Okay, my friends, this is our vocabulary, no? Way. Please, Valeria, open your microphones, read the vocabulary. Valeria, repeat, please. Safari. Valeria, come on. Oh, maybe it's not working the microphone. Alan, please, Alan, open your microphone. Repeat. Safari. Safari. Countryside. Countryside. Zebra. Zebra. National Park. National Park. Lock. Lock. Loud. Loud. Dangerous. Dangerous. Way. Way. Thank you. Maria, please. Maria, read the book. Hey, teacher. Safari. Countryside. Zebra. National Park. Lock. Loud. Dangerous. Way. Good job, Maria. Nice pronunciations. Good. Ethan, please, your microphone. Read. Yes, teacher. Safari, countryside, zebra, 
National Park. Look. Loot. Dangerous. Way. Good. All only this, Ethan. Repeat. Lock. Lock. Loud. Loud. Thank you, Ethan. Teacher, ¿le puedo, eh, ¿puedo decir el vocabulario? De oh, Gonzalo. también, No, it's not necessary. ¿También, teacher? Some students, it's not necessary because I know you know. I know you repeat. Because some students didn't open the microphone. They don't open the microphone. They don't repeat. So that's why they I ask some students. Okay? okay, my friends. Teacher. 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 En mi itna me dicen que zebra, zebra, no se dice así, se dice zebra. Zebra. Yes, the difference, you know, Adrian, is the English. This is zebra. British. The other is zebra, American, American English. But the difference is not so big, okay? It's little. Safari, please. Safari, you know, this is when you visit animals, wild animals where they live, no? Usually in Africa. Countryside. Countryside is this. It's the opposite of the city. City, people, buildings, the countryside. It's the opposite. Zebra or zebra, no? According to the kind of English. National Park. You know what is National Park, no? In Peru, we have many national parks. Lock. Teacher, what is lock? Did you watch the video about the lion and uh, how the lion opened the lock, the door? Yeah, well, that is because they didn't lock the door. Lock means es echar candado. Segura? Asegurar, yes. Bloquear? Bloquear, yes, that is lock, lock it. In the video, no, in this video, the problem was that they, they didn't lock the door. No, in the video, in this video, the people, they didn't lock the door. They believe that lions can open doors, so they just waiting where we're in the car, no? But at the end, they did. When so, when you go to Africa, please lock the door of your car. Okay, you need to lock. No, that is lock. Bloquear, asegurar, echar candado. Okay, that is lock. Now let's continue. The next loud. Loud means that no, fuerte, alto. The teacher is speaking loud. That is loud. Dangerous, you know. The zebras are not dangerous. The lions, yes. Way, teacher, what is way? Way is this. This is the way. Okay. The way is similar to the road. Okay. Way, camino. Way. Now, my friends, let's listen. Oh, let's play with the vocabulary. No, come on. Teacher is flying. Please go to Zoom. Circle the vocabulary, okay? What is the safari? What is the countryside? What is the zebra? The national park? Log, loud, dangerous, and way. Oh, good job, Gonzalo. Rodic, what is this? Mm, it's not, no, it's not a word. Good, Sebastian. Come on, what is the national park? Dangerous. Oh, that's good, Maria Paz. Julian, good. That is lock. Yeah, continue, please. What is dangerous? Loud. Zebra or zebra. Countryside. Maria, what is war? What war is that? Mm, no, it's not, no? Oh, dangerous. Yeah, it's there. Good. But use different colors and only one time. Only one. No more times. 
only one. Oh, very good, loud. Very good, Rodrigo. Several also is there, no? Several, let's see. Yeah, it's missing one. Countryside. Only one times, no more times, only one. Only one. It's missing countryside. Country. Countryside. It's the opposite of the city. Teacher, countryside means campo abierto? Yes, that is. It's the opposite of city. Yeah, very good is there. Safari. Okay, let's start now with the article, okay? We have an article in your books. Please go to the page 40. We are going to read this article. My last, my first and last safari. Yeah, this is the article. Please pay attention because in this article is you need to identify one, the vocabulary, two, identify the grammar, the simple past, and the past progressive. These two things, okay? Yeah, let's pay attention. Listen, please. Identify uh, the vocabulary and the grammar. Two, listen and answer. Where could you find the text below? Why do you think this was Fred's first and last safari? Then read. My first and last safari by Fred Collins. Last summer, my family and I went to Africa on holiday. We stayed in a small house in the beautiful African countryside. It was great. One day, we visited the Serengeti National Park in Tanzania for a safari. I wanted to see zebras so much. Listen. We waited in our car and after some time, we saw hundreds of zebras. They were running not very far from us. We got out of our car and took photos. Suddenly, the zebras turned round and stopped. They started running again, and they stopped right in front of us. Get into the car, Dad shouted. We got into the car and locked the doors. The zebras started running really fast, and some were jumping over our car. It was so loud. We were all scared. Finally, they went away. Zebras aren't dangerous, but we were in their way, said Dad. We were all very happy it was over. You see? Yeah, let's listen one more time, okay? We are going to answer some questions. For example, where were they going? Where? What animals do they want to see? What happens with these animals? Okay, because something happened in the story. Okay, so let's listen one more time. Two, listen and answer. Where could you find the text below? Why do you think this was Fred's first and last safari? Then read. My first and last safari by Fred Collins. Last summer, my family and I went to Africa on holiday. We stayed in a small house in the beautiful African countryside. It was great. One day, we visited the Serengeti National Park in Tanzania for a safari. I wanted to see zebras so much. Continue, listen. We waited in our car, and after some time, we saw hundreds of zebras. They were running not very far from us. We got out of our car and took photos. Suddenly, the zebras turned round and stopped. They started running again, 
and they stopped right in front of us. Get into the car, Dad shouted. We got into the car and locked the doors. The zebras started running really fast, and some were jumping over our car. It was so loud. We were all scared. Finally, they went away. Zebras aren't dangerous, but we were in their way, said Dad. We were all very happy it was over. Okay, my friends. Now answer some questions, okay? Question one. Who is the author of this story? Fred Collins. Yeah, very good. Fred Collins. Fred Collins, Fred Collins yes. Fred He's Collins. Collins. But teacher didn't mention, yes, this, this is the author. Do you remember your writing, your composition? No? My favorite athlete by, and then your name, because you are the author. Fred Collins is the author, okay? Yeah, second question. Where were they on a safari? They went to one place, very specific. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Romina. In Tanzania, teacher. In Tanzania, yeah. What's the name of that place, of that national park? In Serengeti, the National Park. Yeah, that is, no? You see, they visited. Serengeti is the name of the national park. And it's in Tanzania. Okay? Good. Maria Paz, what animals did Fred Collins want to see? They, they were, they see um, zebras. Zebras. Oh, yes, he wants to see zebras. And they saw zebras, no, in the safari. There's hundreds, hundreds of them. Hundreds of, uh, yes. of zebras. No? Good. Gonzalo, what's the matter with the zebras? The zebras and start jump, jump it over, over the car. Yes, that is the incident, no? That is almost an accident they were looking at the zebras no the zebras were running far away but then the zebras get closer and they're running so that's why the father says no this get into the car enter to the car and lock the door because the zebras these animals start jumping near the car and other Zebras jump it on the car. That's how that's why it happened. Thank you, Gonzalo. Yes. It was very loud. It was so loud. And they were very scary, they say. We were scared. Okay, that was the problem. No, that was the mother. And his dad says, no, the zebras are in dangerous. The problem is that they were in their way. Okay, okay, my friends, now is your turn. Read, please, the story one more time. And let's complete this. This sentence are true or false? Okay. Four minutes, please. I'm going to choose some students, okay? But read the story one more time and tell me, Fred went on a safari with his friends. True or false? Fred took photos of the zebras. True or false? The zebras start running very fast. Some zebras jump it over the car. True or false? Zebras are dangerous animals. Okay, my friends, four minutes, please. Complete in your books. In your books, okay? In your books. Teacher, I can complete. No, no, in your book. Come on, Joaquin, let's work.
Finish, please read the article, identify the grammar, the past tense, okay? But if you finish, raise your hand. Maybe it's a possibility that Veronica or Fernanda or Ariana or Rodic or Jose Red can answer, no? Maybe they confuse. Maybe they can open the microphone. So you participate, okay? Two minutes, just one minute, please finish, complete. Oh, Jose Gabriel, did you finish, no? The number five, please, Jose Gabriel. Zebras, zebras are dangerous animals. False, teacher. False. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you're right. It's false. Zebras are dangerous, okay? Because they are herbivores, no? They only eat peacefully in, in the savanna. But the lions, no, no, they are dangerous. Let's see. Veronica, did you finish? Not yet? Yes, Professor, it's true. Fred went on a safari. Rodrigo, please, the number one. Fred went on a safari holiday with his friend, false teacher. Veronica is false. It's not true with his friends. No, in the article says that he went with his family, with his parents. Fernanda, did you finish the two? Fernanda. Fred took, took is the pass of take. Fred take photos, took photos on the, of the zebras. Fernanda. Yes, teacher. The number two. Uh, true teacher. Yes, it's true, Fernanda, good, yes. Fred took photos. Ariana Argandoña, please, number three. Teacher is true. Yeah, but read the sentence. Yes, it's true. But the servers are started running very fast. Yes, they start running very fast. No, suddenly. And Rodic, please to finish. Four. Some zebra jumping over in the car. Four. Mm, not exactly, it's true. Some zebras jumped over the car. Okay? Can you imagine a horse running, passing through your car? It's to be scary, no? That's why that's happened. Okay? Good, my friends. Let's continue with the next, okay? The listening. Number four listening the same listen the story check in the correct picture and don't tell me the the letters please tell me the sentence teacher the correct picture is where the children are uh, are in the bus where the teacher or maybe the driver the bus driver is putting the bags it's raining no this is raining Teacher, where the boy and this accident is in your book, huh? Or teacher, oh, is where the boy and this accident is in the book. Or oh, when this sunny teacher, this is sunny. Okay, tell me, but in English, tell me sentences. Yeah, listen. Four, listen and tick the correct pictures. Last weekend was very special. It was our school trip to the countryside. When I got to school on Friday, everyone was excited. 
the teachers were calling the students' names. Some students were getting on the buses. Some other students were taking photos. Mr. Green was talking to the bus driver. And Mrs. Bolton was asking Mrs. Carey about the weather. Mr. Brown was putting the tents onto the bus. At nine o'clock, the buses left the school. On the bus, we played many games. Suddenly, we heard a loud noise. Clouds filled the sky and it turned gray. Then it started raining. We stopped at a small hotel. And when we got to our rooms, there was a blackout. I was afraid and I ran out onto the balcony, but I slipped and fell. I sprained my ankle. I went to bed early that night. On Saturday, the sun was shining again, and my ankle was better too. We went to the countryside, and the rest of the weekend was fantastic. Yeah, listen one more time. Four, listen and tick the correct pictures. Last weekend was very special. It was our school trip to the countryside. When I got to school on Friday, everyone was excited. The teachers were calling the students' names. Some students were getting on the buses. Some other students were taking photos. Mr. Green was talking to the bus driver. And Mrs. Bolton was asking Mrs. Carey about the weather. Mr. Brown was putting the tents onto the bus. At nine o'clock, the buses left the school. On the bus, we played many games. Suddenly, we heard a loud noise. Clouds filled the sky and it turned gray. Then it started raining. We stopped at a small hotel. And when we got to our rooms, there was a blackout. I was afraid and I ran out onto the balcony, but I slipped and fell. I sprained my ankle. I went to bed early that night. On Saturday, the sun was shining again, and my ankle was better too. We went to the countryside, and the rest of the weekend was fantastic. Okay, volunteers, please tell me which pictures are correct? Which pictures happen in the story? Gonzalo, please tell me one. What picture happens? And teacher, the letter E. When in the hotel was a blackout and the boy fell down and sprained his ankle. Excellent. Yes, that is the picture. Camilo, what picture else? Uh, the sea picture. Yeah, but what is this? Uh, here, raining. It's raining. Thank you, Camilo. Yes, yeah, says no that. Then the clouds turns gray and then it starts raining. Yeah, thank you. Maria Paz, what other picture is true? When the, the children are com coming and the bus, the bus. Yeah, that's true. Yes, the teacher are taking the list, they say, no? And Romina, what picture else is true? Teacher, uh when the the teacher of the boy was putting the and the equipage in the bus now uh, the pants not the suitcase teacher is all also this huh they say also this uh sorry this not no didn't mention that didn't says that okay this no and this no only these four pictures okay and to finish let's play a game okay Please. Oh, also this. Uh, let's, see, let's, see, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. According to this, says this, but didn't mention this part. They say that the rest yes, of teacher. was good. Was good. They say that. Like, let's see. I'm going to check. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. I mentioned here. On Saturday, the sun was shining again. And the rest of the weekend was excellent, was fantastic. Yes, it's true. The last picture too, okay? They say that this, the rest of the travel, the journey was fantastic. Okay? 
This, this, the, the suitcase, the raining, the sprain, the ankle, and this, no? Okay, let's play a game, okay? Using the next picture. In your books, you have this picture. You are going to answer some questions. What are they doing? Okay? But when it starts raining, like this. When it starts raining, for example, Kate was taking photos. No, this is the correct. When it starts raining, Lisa was watering the plants. No? When it starts raining, Mike was eating. Yes, we are going to play a question using this, okay? The past progressive. Please open one quiz. I am going to give you the link in a quiz. Mm, simple pass. Oh, come on. The link is joinmyquiz.com. The link, please, is in the chat. Go to the chat, open the link. The pin teacher, yeah, give me a minute, okay? And also some questions about the, the text. My last, my first and last safari. Dana, for you is this this link. It's another link, Dana. Oh, come on. Come on. Teacher, the ping. Yeah, the ping is this, okay? Four, nine, seven, six, seven, four. Enter, please. Profesor, disculpe, ¿me podría mandar el código? No lo, no lo tengo, por favor. Ya, yeah, give me a minute, ok, Verónica. Alan, enter, go to the chat. Valeria, go to the chat. Only in this quiz make sentence, ok, make sentence for every picture. It's about past progressive. Very good, Ariana. Come on, nine. Teacher. Yes, Julian. En mi quiz a mí me aparece para empezar. Share, please, Julian. Share. Share your screen. Teacher, seguro ingresó al link que usted mandó para Dana. But it's okay, uh, Julian. If you can open the other link, it's, it's the same. Tal vez te has ingresado al de Dana. Que es el mismo link. En sí es el mismo, solo que inicia tu ritmo ya. Ya no, no, no esperas a que yo lo inicie, sino es directo. Okay, let's start. Okay, my friends, let's start. Cualquiera de los dos links que he enviado es válido. Cualquiera de los dos links que te he enviado es válido. En uno de ellos, todos juntos iniciamos. En el otro, inicias antes. Pero es el mismo. Enter, please. Let's start.